next contestant is Dave D. This is my life in five minutes. I was raised by three women. My mom, my grandma, and my stepdad. I beat up my stepdad. It was like a rite of passage. I became a man. It was like a white trash bar mitzvah. <laughs> Better than my real dad. My real dad was a Czech dad. But just like him, they bounced. <laughs> I do got to thank my dad for some stuff. Some stuff only a father can teach you. Like how to live on only your mom's income. <laughs> I had a neighbor growing up that was a drug addict. And I knew it right away because his dog's name was 8-Ball. <laughs> it's like my dog bit him one time and he was super worried my dog had rabies and I was super worried my dog had an opiate addiction <laughs> the fucked up part he did I had to start putting some boxins in his dog food it was crazy I stay in touch with my neighbor though because you can get cheap ass shit from crackheads <laughs> He called me up, it was like one in the morning, he's like, yo dog, got that generator you're looking for. I was like, yo, hold it till the morning, man. He's like, nah, you gotta buy it right now. <laughs> so I shoot out one in the morning, I got myself a generator for 30 bucks, a half a pack of Newport box, and a ride to the bus station. <laughs> right now, I'm really hoping nobody had their generator stolen. <laughs> Nah, like, part of me wants to see him get clean, and another part just wants to see him keep cleaning my yard for my grandpa's medication. <laughs> Puts a whole new twist on OxyClean. <laughs> one, one time he asked me for a ride to camp, and I was like, nah, not me, man. I'll take you as far as Gloucester City. That's like white guy camp. <laughs> Yeah, I, I used to live with my high school buddy Julio and his entire Mexican family, all 14 of them. And he'd always say, yo man, we gotta get the gang from high school back together. And I was like, we can't. I can't afford five interventions. <laughs> After calling his dad a Mexican for a month, he was like, Dave, I'm not Mexican. We're Ecuadorian. Who would have thought they were from the Middle East? <laughs> you know, I drive to work in the morning just like everybody else, thinking the normal stuff. Boy, I'd like to go home. Should I stop and get gas? Should I jerk the wheel into oncoming traffic? <laughs> but I'd never do that. Like, what if they were on their way home? I'm not a monster. At work, I have to deal with this real idiot who once told me his English is more gooder than his math. <laughs> That's our branch manager. <laughs> I called out of work today, and I'll tell you, it never gets easier to tell somebody your grandma died. <laughs> I'm not going to make it, man. My grandma died today. Which sets me up with a day off next week, funeral day. <laughs> My grandma would want me to have off. Shit, my grandma died five times at four jobs. <laughs> my boss calls me out and I'm like, didn't she just die? I was like, it's my other grandma. I ain't got no grandmas left. <laughs> I don't know, but next month it's shaping up to be grandpa's turn. <laughs> you know, I, I do love my job, but most of the time at work I'm just playing Candy Crush. And when I started playing Candy Crush, they asked me to make this user profile name. I made mine Horsecock Dave D. I had no idea it linked up with my Facebook. You know, I go out to the club with my friend, and every time he sees a hot chick, he's like, yo, I'd wreck that pussy. And a lot of guys say, I'd wreck that pussy. But he would, he's got herpes. <laughs> You know, I say something to my brother just jokingly, and it turns out he's really done. Apparently, my brother jerks off while driving. I 
that's definitely not hands-free driving. <laughs> it's a good thing for us you don't have a car anymore. It's a bad thing for people on the bus. <laughs> I can see if it caught on the commercial, it'd be a douchey cop like, don't jerk and drive, it can wait. Sponsored by handsfreeamerica.org. <laughs> Y'all, I'm Dave D. Thanks for your time. Dave D.